In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up 301 redirects with WordPress. This is a really important skill to know because if you make any changes to the structure of your site or indeed you launch a new site and you may be replacing an old site, you're gonna want some 301 redirects so that you can point people that are landing on the old pages to the new pages. If you don't set up 301 redirects, they're gonna get a 404 page not found error message and that's not very good. It's not very good for search engines and it's not very good for visitors. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Why not subscribe? I try to upload a new video every single week. And if you don't wanna miss out on that, yeah, click the red button below, the one that says subscribe, and make sure that you click the bell and you'll be notified when I do upload. You might wanna also check out wpeagle.com. It's my website. It's got all of these video tutorials on there from YouTube, as well as some other bonus bits and bobs. So this video is all about 301 redirects. They're a really important thing because if you delete a page on your website or if you set up a new website and it's got a different URL structure, the URLs are basically the, you know, the website addresses that people put into their browsers to access your pages. If they've changed and people are linking to those pages from other websites, or indeed, you know, Google has indexed those pages and they're coming up in search engines. If you change them or if you get rid of them or if you launch a new website that's different, what's gonna happen is when people click on those links from Google or from other websites, they're gonna get an error message, they're gonna get a page not found and that's not good for anybody. So we're gonna be using a really simple free plugin um, to set up our redirects. It's really straightforward. Let's get on the computer and I'll show you what to do. So I'm over at bowwowtech.co.uk. It's one of my Amazon affiliate sites. I thought I'd just use it for this example. If you like the look of this site and maybe you'd like your very own Amazon affiliate website, I'll put a link to the video tutorial in the description where I created this very website so you can yeah, have your very own Amazon affiliate website. But anyway, what we're gonna be doing today is setting up a 301 redirect. So you might need a 301 redirect if you change the pages, posts or products on your site and you've got people coming to those post pages or products from search engines or other sites on the internet, people might be linking to them, that kind of thing. And obviously if you change them or if you delete them, what will happen is those people, when they come from Google or wherever, they'll hit your 404 page, your page not found page. <laughs> that didn't quite sound right, but you know what I mean, the page not found page. The free on one redirect allows you to kind of send people in the right direction onto the new page. So let's do a real example. So I've got a contact us page here. The URL is uh, contact hyphen us. Now, if I change that URL, maybe I, I, you know, take out the the us. Let's do that now. I'll just put it as contact because I think that looks tidier. Whatever. So let's just test that out. I'm gonna view the new contact page, which is here we go slash contact. But if someone did come to the contact us like this they get the page not found. So we need to do a redirect, so let's do that now. So into the dashboard. By the way, this is also really important to do if you're launching a new site because often the new URLs don't match up with the old ones. So you need to basically make a list of all your old URLs from your existing site before you switch over to your new site and then you need to make sure that you've redirected each one through to the relevant page on the new site. And how we're gonna do that is with a plugin. So I'm gonna to go to add new. Then in the keyword box, I'm just gonna type in a redirection, which is the name of the plugin. It's this one here with the, the plant thing, whatever that is. So we're gonna install that Then activate. So that's activated. Now when we go into tools, we've got this new option here, redirection. So that brings us to this screen, which is where we'll be able to see all our redirections and add new ones. So let's add our first redirection. So the source URL is the old URL, that's where you're redirecting from. And the target URL is where you want people to go to. So that's the new uh, URL. So let's type the old one in here, contact hyphen us. I'm not gonna add a slash on the end or anything like that. What I am gonna do is tick this regex box because that'll basically then allow it to work if there is a slash on the end. So if it's 
slash contact hyphen us slash, it will still work. Otherwise, you'd kind of have to add two. If that makes sense, you'd have to add one without a slash and one with a slash. So that will capture anything then that comes after um, the contact us. And for target URL, we're just going to type in contact like that. Then we just need to click add redirect and then we're done. So there it is. Let's test it out. Let's go up here and type in the old URL, which is that one. Let's try it with the slash first, see if that works. That's worked fine. And let's try it without a slash, like that. And that's worked fine as well. So we're all done. Hope you found this video useful and you're now able to set up your free one redirects and no one's gonna get a page not found when they come to your site and all is good. Let me know in the comments how you got on or if you've got any other questions or you know, whatever you like really. If you're not already subscribed, just click on the eagle up there. That's my vlog channel, just click on my face, go check it out. And down the bottom round here somewhere is another video it's chosen specially for you. Hope you enjoy it. Till next time, bye for now.